today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon, Mad Crab. Hey, and thanks for stopping and checking out my latest video on how to draw cartoons. I'm John Mark, and I'm going to show you how to draw this Mad Crab right now. So let's begin. I'm going to be sketching out very lightly, as I always share. And I'm going to be creating this little diamond and put that little uh, crosshair in the middle to help me with his uh, face and his expression. So now what I'm just working on is uh, roughing out the basic structure out of this little crab. Uh, I'm working off of an old sketch that I had done uh, several years ago, and I'm just using that as a guideline. And sometimes I might change and modify that from what I'm looking at, and, which I will be. So what I'm doing here now is laying out the, the fin on the top, the two claws and left and right of the face, and I'm using my little imagination to uh, I customized this little crab. And why is he mad, you might say? Someone stole his teddy bear when he woke up this morning. All right, so now I'm working on his legs. Uh, and, and, and as always, you may want to go on the internet and check out some real crabs and see how they actually look and shape and uh, customize them. Like, I'm just making three legs on a side. Some may or may not have them, and some may even have a lot more. All right, so as you can see here, what I did on the far left, I made it a little bit more dramatic with the, uh, the legs, different positioning. On the other side, I just made it very simple. All right, working on his little eyes right now, getting that frown that for his eyes. There you go, get that mean look. Yeah, he's looking for his teddy bear. All right, let's just quickly put some eyes in there right now. That's looking good. All right, let's round off the bottom a little bit. There's his little mouth, really, really sad. He's looking for his bud. All right, that's looking good with the eyes there. And I'll come back and, I'm, and I'll just sketch a little darker. As I share, uh, where I start and begin might be different than where you might do it. So when you're looking at my videos, feel free to pause them and uh, catch up or change and modify as well as I really recommend using your imagination. Uh, and don't stick with what I had, like I added some fun things at the very end. I'll share those, uh, one little thing, element that I didn't see in a crab, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun, like this fin on the top. All right, so when I'm shading in his little um, claw there, at that curve right here and this curve right there, it's just to give, so it doesn't look flat. And that's just to give an indication of the claw. And I like, of course, adding spots from every now and then on some of my little fish and characters. And I'm just gonna do a zigzag lightly to indicate that could be like a darker color at the tip of the claw. All right, and just sketching this a little bit more. Let's add a little bit of another one of the joints to the claw there in the back so you can see. And let's work on his legs over here right now, finishing up that one. There we go, let's round that one. And it, actually, let's add a little tip and add some um, tone to that because maybe I might want to make that a darker color. You can even have sh tiger stripes on him or more spots after when you're coloring him in. So, um, Feel free, again, to use your imagination when you're coloring, too. Mix match the pattern. Even use a patterns that you might see, like in the jungle, like maybe on a zebra. Take the zebra pattern and add it to this crab. That would be really cool, too. All right. Working on the, the head there a little. Let's get on the other claw right now to fine-tune that spot right now. Looking good. Let's get that curve a little bit better. All right. Liking that right now. Okay, let's add some more spots. And when you're adding spots, don't have the, the same amount of spots in the same location from one claw to the other claw, and even from the, uh, the top part and the bottom claw. Make them a little scattered, a little different. Uh, make it a little bigger here and there, change out a little bit. It's kind of fun, make it more interesting. And as you can see, what I did with this one, it's like a three quarter shot of the little crab and he's coming towards you. Working on that leg over there, a little bit foreshortening because that's a little bit shorter because he's further away on the right side. The legs on the left are a little bit closer. All right, I'm going to shade in the back two as well as uh, the third one. Let's get that little color tip on both those two. There we go, a little shade there too. 
to indicate they're behind the other legs. There you go. That's looking good. Finishing up that a little darker now. And I always like to start off lightly and get a little bit heavier and heavier as I go. And um, yeah, this one, this one's a fun one. I think I'm going to color him in Photoshop and then uh, use my watercolor brush again on that. Work on a cleaner pencil. So this is just a sketch. And from this sketch, I'll make a fine tune one from this one, a little bit sharper detail that I can use. It's just getting your thoughts out and your creativity when you're sketching. All right, it's a, it's the best way of actually getting uh, your drawing. Don't worry how it looks. And it's what's really cool too, uh, make sure you time yourself and see how fast you're getting from one picture to the next picture. Um, and you'll see how uh, it's your, your strength as an artist when you're timing yourself. All right, let's get some big spots up here. There we go, I like that. Bigger ones over here and little ones here and they're scattered them around like little freckles on the little crabby there. All right. And I thought this was kind of cool. These little whiskers I'm thinking of hanging out there. Okay. So it's a cat crab. <laughs> He's upset because someone stole his uh, little teddy bear. Okay. There we go. And let's have the fins on the sides there. Let's make it a little bit darker. That's like a little rip on the top and on the other side. And I'm curving. When I'm doing my zigzag, I'm kind of changing the angle with the curve. So it kind of bows here and there and gives that shape. More of like a, a round edge so it's not flat. There we go. And a little bit on that top. And that's like a little crown on the top, getting a little stiffer there. Let's give him a little nose. Let's get some um, a horizon line so he doesn't look like he's floating in air. And let's just create some coral some texture on the bottom. Uh, they're really, really quick. Use your imagination here. You could have seaweed, more stones, a whole pile of stones, seashells, uh, starfish on the bottom there. Make uh, the starfish smiling at you. Uh, I'm just putting some little coral. And here's a little stone, quick, any shape that comes to your mind, a little shading in there, show some depth. There you go, back side over there, looking good. All right. So as always, make sure you sign and date and share with your family and friends and make sure to uh, subscribe and check out our other videos too. Thanks for watching.